Hi, this is Jade Raymond. I'm the producer on Assassin's Creed, and we have some all-new footage to show you from a mission in Acre, where our goal is to take out William de Montferrat. Now, we've already done some investigation. We've found out that William um, is the region of Acre. He's planning to take over the city while Richard is out fighting the war. He's located somewhere in this fortress here, so we have to find a way to get in and take him out. Three thousand souls, William. I was told they would be held as prisoners and used to barter for the release of our men. The Saracens would not have honored that end of the bargain. You know this to be true. I did you a favor. <laughs> oh, yes. A great favor indeed. Now our enemies will be that much stronger in their convictions. Fight that much harder. I know our enemy well. They will not be emboldened, but filled with fear. Tell me, how is it you know the intentions of our enemies so well? You who forsake the field of battle to play politics, I did what was right. Now this is an interactive cinematic. We never lose control here. You can see we're moving around. I see here. No. I see a man who's trampled it. Your words are most unkind, my liege. I would hope I might have earned your trust by now. You, Arcus Regent William, sit to rule in my stead. How much more trust is required? Perhaps you'd like my crown. You missed the point. This is nothing new. Much as I'd like to waste my day trading words with you, I have a war to fight. We'll have to continue this another time. Do not so that's Richard you, riding Don't off. Rinse. And if you care about the historical facts, you can actually look up William de Montferrat. He died no place in the year 1191, which is the year our game takes place. Send word that I wish to speak with the troops. We must ensure that everyone is doing their part. Warn them that any negligence will be severely punished. I'm in no mood to be trifled with today. Yes, my lord. The rest of you, follow me. So now we have to find a way in here. There are a lot of options open. We could look for a path um, to climb up over the edge of the building. Um, we could go in kind of Conan the Barbarian style and more action, uh, pick a fight right away and fight our way through to William. Um, but what we're going to show you today is a more stealth way of playing. We're going to use the crowd to blend in and get through these doors unnoticed. If you notice on the right hand side there's a GPS that's flashing showing us where William has gone. It's somewhere deep inside this fortress. So we're going to continue without blowing our cover, find a way to get to him. Um, to really have that assassination sneak up behind him moment. And there's some guards there guarding that door. And you can tell they don't want us to go in there. So uh, we're going to try to find another way around. Here, uh, a shipment has reached, recently come in, and you can see the people carrying the crates. Um, you have to use a gentle push move when you go by them, otherwise you could knock over their crate and draw attention to you. And now we're going down this alley where no one is, and we're gonna use some of our climbing ability to get up there. And you can see that really the mechanic of climbing is based on the actual 3D. Anything that looks like a ledge that you could grab onto in real life, you can in Assassin's. And there's a stealth assassinate, a very efficient way to use your hidden blade to get rid of these guys on the rooftop. You can see that they're kind of all around. <laughs> that was a grasp move. If you are about to miss a ledge and you want to grab on last minute, you can press your free hand button, which will allow you to reach back on. And there we just used a throwing knife. Those are really valuable in these kinds of mission. You can see that we just took this guy out before he was able to alert the other guys. If we were going to use our sword and run over there or even assassinate, it would take us probably too long. And by then the whole guard, um, guarded fortress would be on alert.
proactively taking that guy out. And they're one hit, one kill, but you really have to manage how you use them. We stand accused of failing in our duties. He does not recognize the value of our contributions to the cause. And now we can hear William down there. Um, we're going to show you a brand new move that we haven't showed off yet. It's the air to assassinate. It combines some of your acrobatic skills um, with the hidden blade so that you can really sneak up on guys here and get rid of William before all of the guards watching see you. If you draw attention to yourself, you're going to have a big fight on your hand and it'll take you a while to get to William or he may even get away beforehand. So we're going to drop down here and... Nice! Okay, we skipped ahead here. Um, we didn't want to show you the story moment to ruin too much of the mission for you. Um, but we are going to show you some fight. Right now we have the sword out. It's probably the most powerful weapon. Um, you can also use your free hands to get enemies out of way like that. That was a nice counter attack. <laughs> Basically, the moves that you have available are changed depending on your position to the enemy and which weapon you have out. We just switched to the short blade. And we used the environment there. That's especially efficient way to get rid of a bunch of guys at once. Ooh. <laughs> That's a foot stab. Okay, we're pretty much surrounded here. It's a good time to break away and get out of there. We're going to try and find a way out here. Our goal is to break the... Oh, and this door that we came in is closed. You can hear the bell ringing. We're using a tackle move. Um, that's really useful when you want to get people out of your way quickly, and it also creates an obstacle for the guards that are following you, so they have to, they're slowed down a bit trying to get around those guards. Now, we're trying to break the line of sight here, which is actually quite difficult. If you get an angle here, we can see that the guards are actually approaching from all different directions down below. And one of them's catching up, so let's uh, get rid of the closest guy. Just grab and throw him down there. Nice. Ooh. Okay. We're close to the exit, so we're gonna look for a way to get out of here. Use this guy as a human shield. That was pretty cool. Right there, there's an exit. We can see the birds are indicating there's a place to do a leap of faith. And we've successfully broken the line of sight and found a hiding spot. So you can hear that the bell is still ringing. At this point, basically, the guards don't know where we are, but they are still on the lookout. So if you look at the guards walking around, they have their swords out. They're looking for the assassin. We're going to have to get back to the bureau here without drawing attention to ourselves again. So that's all that we're showing today. It's a very small part of this William de Montferrat mission, and we showed you just one way to accomplish it. There's going to be a lot more ways to play and a lot more to see when you get the game this November.